onto the workbench? On the workbench. See, we're trying to speed it up a little bit so that, you know, um, people don't fall asleep on us. Uh, first off on the workbench, quick uh, shout out. I'm going to give a shout out to Deb Fuller. She actually contacted me. And you know how we were talking about uh, hoop sizes last week? She's got a download on her Facebook page, um, which I meant to try and get here, but I missed it. We'll probably get a link at some point. But um, if you go to Stitching, Stitchings by Deb on Facebook, she has a download to a uh, luminaire spread, uh, sheet that tells you the actual sizes of your hoops. Because remember how last week we were talking about I our hoop sizes? I mean the designs that will go in your hoop? No, the actual hoop size because of millimeter versus inches. Oh. Okay. So just a quick shout out to Deb for that. But today I wanted to get into something that's not really related to anything at all to machines, but it's a tech. <laughs> but it has to do with scan of cuts and stuff, and uh, it's a very technical issue um, that's kind of interesting. And Eddie just brought it up. It's raster versus uh, raster versus vector um, file formats. Does anybody do raster anymore? Everybody does raster. Okay. Does Ev anybody know what raster? Or that's raster what we're going to talk about. Um, well, what is blurry? Yeah, well, okay, bring up the second image for me, Eddie, that I got in there. So if, what you'll see is the difference between a raster and a vector is you, you'll notice the uh, image on your left has a pixelated where it shows that it's been zoomed in, and the picture on your right doesn't pixelate when you zoom in. That's the difference between the file format of a raster versus a vector. Uh, a raster image is done with pixels. So your JPEGs, your bitmaps, um, your PNG files are all raster images. So if you zoom in on a raster image, it's going to pixel it like you see in that picture there. Mm -hmm. A vector image is, done, is all done by math. So it tells you it's all a relationship of point A to point B is a certain um, ratio. So as you zoom in, it maintains that really crisp line, which is why your SVG files is probably your most prominent raster file format. So SVG files are what you need to run a cutting machine or an embroidery machine because it's, all, it's, it's mathematically calculated that shape. Okay. So you can, you can translate it across different machines. The downside to a vector format is you can't do shading. If you're gonna do shading, you have to do each individual area, you have to write a mathematical equation for that area to say this bit of red is gonna be so many ratios. And so what you're gonna find, with a, oftentimes with vector formats, they tend to be solid colors. So if you look at old, like clip art, is a vector format, it's blue and red, it's not gonna have like a, very a very uh, variation or shading, so that's that's why most web Im most of your graphics online are raster images because you can do the shading with the pixels. Vector images are for uh, machine formats, and you're not going to be able to do as much detail with the color. I mean, you can, but it's a much more um, computational process than what you can do with a raster. So that I just wanted to touch well, on we that. We use vectors. And SVG is a standard as vector format. SVG graphic. is a standard vector format, which okay. is why one of um, why most embroidery software, all most and most embroidery software, all it's doing is can, any digitizing software is basically converting. Con converting a raster to a vector image. That's all digitizing really is, because once you're into a vector format, mo that's what machines can read. Mm -hmm. Machines like vectors. Um, humans, like I said, because you can't um, gradiate. You, like, for example, you're not going to have a, a photograph. Is You can't get a photograph into a vector format. I mean, you might be able to, but I'd be very curious to see what that looks like because that would be crazy. Because um, all the different tones and different colors, it's all done mathematically, whereas with um, a raster, it's done with a pixel. And so it has to do with the zooming. So that I brought these images up. If you really want to get into it, if you look at the website on that image there, uh, vectorconversions.com, uh, that's a really nice page. really gets into how that's done. Um, a lot more detail than this, but the big thing to keep in mind is if you're working with an <laughs> embroidery machine. Fair enough. I'd use a different color pencil or pen. But now you can erase it. Yep. No, I can erase but, it. Um, so, yeah, if, you, if you're working with machines, SVG format is a vector. Most everything on the Internet is going to be raster, and that's real. I just wanted to touch on that real quick because that is a very important technical different difference in the files if you start getting into digitizing and playing and trying to make your own designs. It's important to understand that difference. And, oh, hi, Adriana. And um, a quick thing, Photoshop works with raster. Adobe Illustrator works with vector. So that there's actually two totally separate programs yeah. depending on the uh, editing you want to do, and that's a good way to remember it. If you're familiar with the Illustrator, you'll have no problem working with vectors, but most people are very familiar with Photoshop, which is just raster. So, that, so um, mm -hmm. just throwing that out there. And I've probably gone on for way too long. But... Becky's not sleeping it. yet. I always learned it as one is a paint and one is a draw.
that's in my brain. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that kind of works. I know, yeah, I know yeah, it's that, not that, really true. Yeah, but no, but that kind of works. It's, it's, it's a way to look at it. I mean, but. but it's just, like I said, one is pixels and one is math. All right.